Okay, let's get something out of the way right now. If you think I'm successful because I've made a big bet on China and I built an economy hotel chain there, you're not even close. Okay. My Uncle Mike took me aside when I was 16 and he said, you're going to China. And I said, you're crazy. <laughs> the time was a very different time in China. Everybody was talking about Japan. I had never spoken a word of Chinese, but he knew I was an entrepreneur. And he knew that I was seeking an extraordinary life and to make an extraordinary contribution. That's him. Just next to me, the guy with hair. So I thought about it, and what I realized was there was nothing wrong with trying to deal myself a new hand. The hand I was playing wasn't that great. My track was not the track that I wanted. So I wrote an essay in college about how I wanted to go to China and build an American brand. And I applied to school during my senior year of college to study in China. And in there I wrote an essay about how I was going to build bridges between the US and China at a time when most people probably weren't thinking so much about that. And I guess they liked it because despite the fact that I spoke almost no Chinese and I was a pretty average student, they let me into uh, one, of, one of the better schools in China, Beijing University. But after I graduated, there were no jobs in China in 1990, so I came to Hong Kong. I had 800 bucks in my pocket. I had one wool suit, it was August. And I was going to get a job and make my career and somehow get back to China. So I did get a job, which paid less than the secretary I worked with. But it got me a business card, and it got me a work permit, and it got me on track. And now it was a matter of getting back to China. I worked in Hong Kong for five years, and then I got my break. Budweiser was building their brand in China, and they needed someone to help them. And I spoke Chinese, and, and I, was, I was pretty peppy about the opportunity, so I was able to work with them. And they sent me back to Beijing, where I ran their government affairs for the next eight years. That's me with August Bush III, the chairman and CEO at the time, uh, who became a mentor to me. What was great about working with Budweiser was that Budweiser was a great American brand developing in China. And my business plan was about bringing an American brand to China. So what better opportunity than to learn from someone who's really great at it. And they are really great at building a brand. And the way they build a brand is they make friends all over the world. That's their motto. And the idea is if you add value to everyone, an opportunity to enjoy some success will be denied to you by no one. But I was still working for someone else. And after eight years, I had now been in China for 15 years executing on a plan. And I had to now start on executing my own plan. I had this crazy idea that China needed economy hotels operated under a brand. It was a completely new model for China. China had a lot of five-star hotels, but almost nothing in the lower tiers. So I thought, well, owners were unhappy. Guests were not happy. Everyone's telling me I'm crazy. But if, if you can do something which is better for everyone, won't that eventually 
work out. So I chose to ignore everybody and listen to myself and let the cards fall where they fall. We're now operating over 700 hotels in the PRC. We're building another 200. And it's a great brand that's brought a lot of, of financial success to a lot of Chinese people. It's brought a safe, clean accommodation option for visitors and guests. And it's something that I'm really proud of, that we've been able to make a contribution. We've been able to bring the best of what America can do, brought it to a country that I love, that's been very good to me, and we created a win-win. Success for me has very little to do with outcomes. It's not really about what you specifically achieve. Success to me is a byproduct of a mindset, a mindset that we're given this one opportunity to live, and we must make it about living an extraordinary life. It must be about pursuing our dreams and going for it. And if you go all in, and you believe in yourself, and you make it about contribution, I don't see any way you can fail regardless of the outcome. So what I would say to you today is go for it. Make your life extraordinary. Leave it all on the field. Trust your instincts. Believe in yourself. And that's my idea worth spreading. Thank you.